Welcome back everybody. Today we'll be going over six various tips, tricks, and misconceptions about PKing. Now let's get into it. The first tip I'd like to showcase revolves around world hopping. For the longest time, if I wanted to find a specific world, I was forced to simply just scroll and search for it. This is no longer the case now that I found out about these world filters. You can either filter by membership worlds, whether you want to find the free to play worlds or you can send the members worlds to the top. You can do it by world number 301, 302 and down you go. You can do it by what country slash ping you may want. World population. As you could see, the PvP arena is always unpopulated. Furthermore, since we're looking for LMS, we're going to use the events page and we're going to send LMS to the top. Now let's just do a couple strolls and here it is. Now that we have found LMS, let's right click it, press favorite. Let's hop worlds and get rid of this skull of ours. Now that we are on the LMS minigame world, we can lead into tip number two, getting rid of this skull above our heads. So start making your way to the second floor of the LMS minigame. We can go into the regular portal, but if you do that, then you run the risk of accidentally joining a real game. And to which if you leave that game, you will be penalized and you can only do that once or twice a day. So what I'd like to do is go upstairs go into the LMS casual portal and once you do this you can hop worlds and you'll be able to lose your skull. Observe. Now to move on to tip number three. Tip number three is more of a misconception with the misconception being that our protection prayers lessen the chances that will be hit. This is just not true. Only the damage is reduced by 40% not the likely chance that will be hit. Unless, of course, you're an LMS, in that case, the damage reduction is 60%. So, for example, when we're running away from another person and we're getting entangled, we tend to throw on our Protect from Magic, thinking that this will help us get the gap and that they'll splash on us. But that's not the case. Rather, you're going to want to throw on Augury. This instead increases not only your regular defense, but your magical defense. By instinctively using Augury or in conjunction with Protect from Magic, you will increase your chances that you'll make it away. So when escaping and running away, you're going to want to toss on Augury or Mystic Might. For tip number 4, we'll be utilizing a commonly known trick from Training in Nightmare Zone. What I'm referring to is using the prayer Rapid Heal in order to reset our timer for when we pre-angler. As we can see, the timer is slowly going down, but each time we flick on our rapid heal, it restarts. And you can use this in order to ensure that you have the highest maximum health for your pre-angler. Tip number five is a pretty niche piece of information, having only been useful to me a handful of times, but the times it did work, it really came through in helping me get the kill. What I'm referring to is when I upgrade staffs. As we can see, we went from using Fire Surge and a Smoke Staff, and sometimes we want to use the Toxic Staff, so we upgrade, but we forget to bring our Smoke Runes, so we're stuck with only an Entangle and our TB. So in times where we get the Teleblock and we go for the Entangle, we notice we don't have Fire Surge, but that's okay. We can still Venom them with only Entangle. For example, let's Venom this bear simply by Entangling it. Tip number six is for pro PKers like me who never really die, but if you do, you might want to have some dripscape. You can do this by turning on the Angel of Death tombstone by talking to death. Press continue and then ask, have you got any different looking gravestones? And for this, you get to choose 200k for a purely cosmetic upgrade, but we're going to go ahead and do it. For trick number seven, I highly recommend you to check out my RuneLight plugins tip video. Let me know in the comments if any of these helped. 